Okay, this is awesome. You can now embed live Power BI reports or pages within PowerPoint. There's a couple of things to consider. I'll show you the couple of different techniques of doing this. Let's go. So I've got the world's simplest report here. It's just a simple bar chart. I want to embed this into PowerPoint. So here we go under export PowerPoint embed live data. Excellent. Click on that. It says copy this URL and paste it into your presentation. I'll show you what that means in a second. But really the simplest thing is this, open in PowerPoint. And this will then create a PowerPoint slide with this embedded. You don't, can't get much easier than that. Okay, that is absolutely fantastic. It does add this banner across the top, which you can easily delete and it adds you a little explanation page that I think needs a bit of rework. But this is great. Look, check this out. You can play about with it live inside your PowerPoint slide. You know, even when doing a presentation. So let me just go into presentation mode. Okay, we've got it open here. I can toggle, but it is one page. Okay, it's one page. There's no page navigation or anything. So if you do want to toggle between pages in your PowerPoint slide, add some page navigation buttons or something like this. Okay, so I've added a little page navigation button here. And I can go, make sure you add a back button as well to go back to a different page. So you can do it, okay, awesome. Right, let's talk about another way of actually embedding this. So if I went to a new slide, okay, so I'll just go new slide, get rid of all this. The other way of going is insert add-ins, okay? So from the get add-ins menu, you can click that. You can search for Power BI, and there's actually Power BI tiles, which is not what you want in this scenario. That's the paid version. You want this, Microsoft Power BI, okay? Developed by Microsoft. So here we go, click that, and it says paste the URL here. You can even grab a URL from a different workspace or report. So you can have a couple of different reports all in the one PowerPoint slide which is pretty cool. Let me just show you, if I do go back to the same one, uh, maybe I'll go to this page, okay? And I'll grab the URL and I'll paste it in here, insert, and away you go, and it should all work, okay? Beautiful. So there's that slide, and if I go back to the other slide, it's over here. There is also the ability to uh, show as saved image. Now, I'll show you a little bit about, I'm not quite sure about this yet, okay? I'll show you a, a scenario in a second when I share this report. The one thing I did want to show you was how to update this data and a couple of considerations currently. So let me just go and change my Power BI report very quickly, okay? I'll come in here, I will change this, um, maybe I'll change it to PowerPoint Red and I'll change the numbers as well. So I'm gonna to go to numbers, I'll take my measure and I'll multiply it by, I don't know, some silly number so that my chart becomes really, you know, large number in here. There you go, 0.3 million. And then I'll just use power tools. So if you don't know about power tools, pretty handy, but it's got a color picker. So I've done control windows, uh, sorry, windows shift C, and that gives me my color picker. And I am gonna go and pick PowerPoint red. There's my palette. I can pick one of these colors like this, go to my bars and say the bar color is going to be more colors. And just paste that in there. Okay, there you go. My bars are now PowerPoint red. So um, Power Toys from Microsoft. You can download it from the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows 11. Really cool. Okay, Power Toys. You can got color picker, Windows Shift C. Really handy. Anyhow, so I've updated the data and I've updated the color and I'm gonna go publish and save, update my report. Okay, PowerPoint demo, save over the top of that. It'll say success. Yes, I wanna replace it. Okay. Success, got it. Right, so now I go to my PowerPoint slide, which is still open. It's still showing this same numbers but down the bottom here check this out refresh get the latest data so if I click refresh my numbers have updated 
but the colors haven't. So you can either close um, PowerPoint down and reopen it, and it'll update with the new colors, or right click and go for refresh. Now, I think that refresh button down the bottom should do both. Um, be interested to know what other people think. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Right, sharing. Let's talk about sharing. So I'm gonna save this. It defaults to this Microsoft Power BI storytelling read-only copy. I'm gonna go file, save as, demo one. Okay, so this is called demo one. I'm then gonna share this report. Okay, share this report, copy link, and it's gonna say anyone in my company can view this link. Okay, so I'm gonna go copy. And I've got a separate browser open with somebody else logged in. So if I paste that into the browser, here's what the other person sees. Now, it's viewing only, they don't have permission to edit, so they can't click on anything, but it's there and it's working for them, okay? Great. However, what if I give them edit access? So let me go back, uh, go back to my PowerPoint slide, change this to allow editing and apply, copy that link, email it to that person, they click on it, you know, I'm just shortcutting that, paste it in here, okay. Now it opens up, give it a few seconds, they click on it. It should tell them they haven't got access because I haven't shared the report with them, okay? Which is right. So if I go into Power BI and grant them access, so let me go into Power BI and you can either, you know, share the app with them or whatever you'd like to do in terms of sharing. I'm just gonna go for the simple share and people in your organization, I don't like that one. So I'm gonna go for specific people, okay? And say apply and I'm gonna put their email address in. Okay, so I just put their email address in and clicked copy link as well. So that's that. So I'm going to give them that link, copy, and they're going to paste this in here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. <gasps> sorry, wrong one. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, sorry. So I've given them access to the report. They should then be able to come in here and refresh. And as you can see, actually, they can already see it. And they should be able to play with this as well. Give it a few seconds. There they go. They can now play with this. Brilliant. Okay, that's all good. So they can play with it as well. That's a separate user logged in there. So one quick last thing to show you uh, that's confused me a little bit. Maybe this will change. Over here, there's this annoying little pop out which sometimes doesn't show up. So I don't like this. This is a Everything else is brilliant. This little bit I don't like. But you can say show as saved image. So you can click that. This is now a non-clickable image. Great if you just want to snapshot your data for this presentation and you don't want it to auto you know, change or anything like that. However, what happens is this. I've, I've gone in, I've just done some editing in the background for the, the recording, taken off the permission for the person I shared the report with, the Power BI report. Okay, and cleared all the other permissions. So check this out. I want to share this report with someone. I don't want them to change the page. I've saved it as image. I just want them to maybe add some commentary to the PowerPoint slide. Okay, so I'm just going to go share, copy link, and I am going to give them edit access because I want them to write some commentary or add some extra slides. And I go apply and copy. And then I go that, send that to some, the, my colleague. They open that little link up. And what will happen in a few seconds, okay, even though it's saved as image, I'm not clicking anything, it just sort of forces a refresh now and then errors out because they haven't got access. I don't like that experience. If I save it as image, I don't want it to auto refresh. So hopefully Microsoft will fix that up unless I'm missing something. Okay, so that's my whistle stop tour. This is pretty cool. Uh, look, it's early. These things will improve. Um, I really like this. Well done, Microsoft. This is cool.
Okay, let me know what you think. Please share this channel with others and I will catch you later.